I'd check the name for it for you if I knew it, but I I knew where to go, but the Red Woman. Here's a serve of the five lords. Something, something secrecy. Be on your guard. Is this the look how cool this place is? Is this the secret fishing hole? Seriously? Yikes, there's so many Zoogles here. I wonder if they contaminated the water. I sense a huge influx of astral energy deep inside the cave. It's probably coming from their leader. It must be the, that light that's wreaked havoc on the fishing hole. Right. Who knows how many delicious fish we've lost out on because of it. Go. We're going in, Shion. Right. Aww. Calm down, you two. Whatever's down there is going to put up a tough fight. I don't know. Once you make those two mad, there's no Zoogle I can stop them. Whatever this quest is when we advance it. Explore the Fogwall Limestone Caverns. Wet just to find some fishing hole? Some things are better left <laughs> unquestioned. But what? Something wrong? No, not at all. Gee, I wonder where that fishing hole could be. <laughs> Ever since then, the fish inside have completely vanished. Oh, we got a freaking grape gel. Cool. I got grape. Gotcha, gotcha. I appreciate you looking into that there, Hawks. And yeah, I guess we're playing into that now a little bit with uh, them being like, oh, that light caused all that trouble and stuff. Who knows how many fish we've missed out on. So we can bring it around town there, apparently. Hello, hello, Saint Jam. Metroid Dread is coming out very, very soon. How are you feeling about that? How are you feeling about that situation? But to answer the question of what's up here, things are pretty alrighty over here. A handful of days ago, we wound up opening a package from Guzma, as a matter of fact. That's what this Mew here is from. Coming down, counting down the minutes. We're getting there. Are you still jealous of the special edition I managed to pre-order? I'll probably do like an unboxing on the channel or something like that. Like, that's what we did with games like Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'll probably do that with Metroid Dread. Of this equipment is really I wasn't paying attention to what that was. It was equipment. I blanked for a hot second. You are not gonna lie. We get a new thing? What? What did I just get? You must really like it, Alfie. I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah, we'll probably showcase that when that happens. But yeah, things are pretty alrighty here. Got a freaking package from Guzma with a whole bunch of cool things in it. Um a couple days ago, I recorded the first and probably only ever ever freaking session of me being a freaking Pokemon TCG YouTuber because uh, one of the things that was included in the package was Pokemon cards. So I I, I did an unboxing of said tin thing where Bob. So I've recently edited that. I haven't queued up the upload yet, so I'm not sure when it's going to go up. But uh, how much did you miss? Hello, hello, Guzmo. We were just talking about how I did a freaking recording session of a... Uh, of the freaking tin that you sent me. Did Law go down already? Wait, they're level f What the? 43? 54? What are the levels of the- What the hell? But yeah, I saw the video, some bugs skimmed through it a bit. Saw the craziness of that mad lad there. We've just been doing mostly side quests at the beginning of this session, Guzma. Or just like going around yoinking a bunch of side quests. We're in the secret fishing spot right now, apparently. The enemies here scare me. Maybe this is a quest that I should only be doing like later. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But yeah, so I gotta figure out a time to like queue up that video and stuff. Um, figure we make some progress through Tales of Arise tonight because uh, Metroid Dread is probably gonna be the game that consumes my life for a while when that releases soon. So we're doing what we can here as well first. And we'll probably still be doing it quite a decent bit of Tales of Arise through the next month. No cutscene on getting into here. I can't open my map while I'm in the water. I hate that. So silly. You wink. Cool but yeah. Yeah, so is this an area that I should do later on? Now that I found out that I'm like hella underleveled for it? Probably gonna be in two days? Maybe. But... <laughs> you know. Yoink. That's still a while. In my book, no. Assault B. We, no we do have a choice. We gotta escape. We gotta escape. So, uh, after playing it 15 hours straight, what you think it's gonna be like Metroid Fusion where I beat it in one sitting? What games did we beat in one sitting? We beat Zero Mission in one sitting. We beat Super in like two sittings. We beat Fusion in one sitting. 
And then, like, the Metroid 2 remake, we actually, like, took our time with, and it was a longer game as well, anyway, and that one took, like, four sittings or something like that. So, I mean, who knows? We could just freaking bum rush Metroid. Jet. Should I really just, like, not be doing stuff here right now? Difficult to predict. Who's, but is there, do you know, is there going to be a boss at the end of this, uh, this side press? Because if so, then, the, then I probably really shouldn't be doing this right now. <laughs> could well be. It might not be a bad idea. I have a feeling there's probably a boss here. Ain't there like... Wait, ain't there like DLC? What you mean, ain't there like DLC? What you mean? So, we can go farther there. There's a field action here. Yeah, it might be kind of short. Might well be. There's a boss. Okay, I'm out of here. Good news in Jamville. Oh... You got a capture card. Oh, are you going to potentially start? Oh, there's a chest there. Going to start streaming a streaming? Doing some VGLS streams? Maybe some of your own freaking thing? Robots? Are you going to stream Metroid Dread? Is what I want to know. Pretty tough, too. Okay, and I'm under leveled for this area, so I'm going to skedaddle the hell out of here. We'll come back here later. Heavy treat. Cool. Uh, I'll get out of here for now in that case. Um, is there a line DLC, I mean? It's supposed to come out, like, today. I went... Last time we opened the menu and checked, like, unclaimed DLC items there. There was a bunch of... There's a fast travel at the end of the dungeon. Okay, so I'll go and get that and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you can get things figured out by Friday, you just might. Well, if you want, like, a heads up on setting things up in OBS, let me know and I can give you the rundown. But yeah, I, there was, like, unclaimed DLC items that I just claimed that I had no idea what they meant. They were, like, these weird item thing where Bob's... If that somehow unlocks, like, the Sword Art Online stuff... The neat? Are you meant to do the SAO stuff in this game, like, as post-game? Can you do it at, like, any point in a level scale around what you're currently at? Do you know by chance, Guzma? Is it a thing that's out now? Is it by chance the items I've already claimed that I bring somewhere and I can do the stuff right now? Uh, like, how does it work? What, what's going on with that? Okay, there's a campfire here. Okay. Yeah, so we'll uh, unlock that as a fast travel point. Sweet. Um, also, what are my consumables looking like? Um... Because, yeah, I am looking a little bit short on some things, right? Yeah, we're freaking out of orange shells. Oh, my goodness. I'm never going to financially recover from this. Oh, my. I need a grind, even just for money and this. Um, yeah, where the law voice actor will insult himself, considering law and Kirito are the same voice actor. But, yeah, that'd be sick. Well, just let me know, and I'll see what I can see what I can do here. Did we really just spend that much money? It was out of worthy cause. It was orange shells. Yeah, we'll rest up at the campfire. Is what we'll do. Haven't done it yet. Sure, there's instructions okay. later on about it. Do you understand what's on the line Oh, here? it's an actual what? DLC you buy? Fish SEO apple. collaboration With pack on sale now. Around, it's not like a free a update. Home, namely, well, my stomach. whenever new... <laughs> Shion, we can't rush this. If there's a big time Zoogle waiting for us, we've got Gosh, to be prepared. It. I'm checking the Steam store page. You've got a point. We can't let some dumb Zoogle beat us. Not with these fish at stake. I'm pretty sure we're all in it to win it here. Because whatever, whatever like new DLC thing where Bob's come out for like a game that I'm covering, I typically want to cover it. So hold on, let's see here. Is display capture not going to work today? What the hell? Oh, that's just the FPS thing in the top right. This is display capture. Okay, hold on. Hold on here. Um, browse all. Like, is there a new thing here? That's a- Twenty-two dollars?! What?! Wait, what all is it? Crossover pack featuring Kirito and Asuna costumes from Sword Art Online, Alicization, plus a special quest. Content includes Alfin costume, Black Swordsman's coat, hairstyle Black Swordsman's hair, Shion Gauze attire, Noble Ponytail, Law trainee uniform, Ashen trainee hair. So I guess Law gets a costume because maybe he's, maybe because he's the same voice actor as Kirito anyway. Centoria trainee fight? The Centoria trainee fight is available at the training grounds. This content will be available in-game after claiming it from the in-game unclaimed DLC list. Battle content may be unavailable at times depending on gameplay progression. When I saw this announced, I thought it was going to be like a free update kind of thing. So, it's- I know that there's like a battle that you can do apparently against Kirito and Asuna. And, uh, apparently there's like- maybe that's what this is. Is this trainee fight. 
and there's like three costumes and it's $22? Are you kidding me? Like, that's the kind of thing where it's like, I would think it'd be like maybe $5 if it'd be charged, but it's freaking $22? For a training battle and three costumes? Are you kidding me? Really? Like, we've already known that the monetization of this game has been bad. Like, look at this. Plus five levels, give us 250. Get, you want 10 levels, pay us four bucks, you know? You want money? We can give you that too. Want to literally get double experience for the end of, until the end of time? Six bucks. I've, uh, I've actually thought about buying this just because of limiting off-camera grinding time, just because, like, I'm an adult, I've got things to do, I've got university and life stuff going on. If I can reduce the amount of off-camera grinding time, that'd be neato. So I've thought about doing that, just because it just saves time, and it's so, and it's so dumb that that's a $7 freaking thing. So, uh, wait, where'd the thing go? Where was the thing? Where was the thing? They have edged over the sales I got? I guess so. And... So I assume with a, uh, I don't know who owns that. Okay, here it is again. Was I blind before? I assume with a, uh, with freaking, I don't know who owns SAO, like what company is behind that, but I assume that they get like a big cut of this as well. Um, so is the game a pain without paying extra? It doesn't seem like. The game is a bit of a pain sometimes, but it is worth noting I'm playing on hard mode. I am also playing on hard mode sure. to uh, Can we talk a moment? <laughs> to freaking make things hey, a bit more difficult. Talk? But There's uh, something I need to ask you. Of course. But even yeah. hard mode, I just go into it's like the area that I'm in, gain like one or two levels, and then I'm fine. Like it's the boss is still really hard, but then I'm fine. You were so little. I don't think it's that surprising you've forgotten, is it? Yeah, but here's the thing: that doll was so old. I'm starting to think I just always had it with me from the start. I know that it's extremely unlikely, but after last time we talked, it got me thinking. Maybe... Maybe you brought the doll that child made with you to Lenegas. I couldn't be. Are you saying you didn't? Uh... Look, logically speaking, I know it's a lot more likely that you didn't bring it with you than you did. But you can't say for sure you didn't, right? Crazier things have happened. I always thought I'd be alone, only to end up meeting you and Law and Rinwell and Kisara and Dohalim. Sometimes things happen in life that we never thought possible. You make a good point. I left everyone and everything I knew behind 300 years ago. But now, I'm not so alone anymore. Exactly. You crossed all those centuries to find all of us, so... Why can't a little doll have made the same jump, too? Right? Look, it's up to you to decide if there's any meaning behind all of this. But I choose to think there is. Yeah, I think so, too. There's something beautiful about the whole thing that simply can't be denied. I don't think my microphone picked it up, but during that I heard my doggy sneeze behind me. Yeah, she's just got this look like, yeah, I just sneezed, but, uh, anyway, um, but Guzma, you actually did wind up picking up one of the 100,000 gold thinger bobs? Well then, well then. Also, this is what the game looks like with display capture rather than game capture. You might not notice that much of a difference, but, you know, there's that. Um, so Bandai Namco makes the SEO game, so that probably makes sense for the crossover then. Interesting. So when it comes to this game potentially being a pain without, uh, without buying it. I am playing on the hardest difficulty that you have like by default. Apparently there is a difficulty that's harder than hard mode that you get for like beating the game as like a new game plus thing. And I went to like unclaimed DLC items earlier and apparently there's like a new difficulty mode that I just unlocked called unknown and it says one wrong move and you're finished, you've been warned. Recommended for those looking for the fights of their lives. And it makes me wonder if this is a mode where it's like you get one shot or something or what this is. I just unlocked it earlier this stream, whatever the hell it is, but uh, but there's that. The game doesn't seem like too much of a pain without it, but my gold is about to run out. Like we were at 47k gold and just refilling my orange gels like took off freaking bras from 47k to 20k. And uh, 
And orange shells are the thing that refills our CP there, which is essentially like our MP, our magic, essentially. So, uh, you know, there's there's that um and that is worth noting that i picked up the freaking ultimate edition of this game because i'll always pick up like the biggest edition of a game that comes out so when i cover it on this channel i can talk about uh yeah unknown should i try it should we see what it is i got it earlier this stream whatever it is but uh we can try it but i am worried that it's just gonna be like a one hit freaking mode or something is what i'm worried about um but it is worth noting that when a game comes out to cover it on this channel for review purposes, I'll get like the biggest edition to talk about if it's worth it. So I picked up the ultimate edition and with the ultimate edition literally came these things that give me a 40% discount at like every store in the game. So after everything I spent at that store uh, that took up so much of my golf, that was after like 40% off. And I'm also getting like a 20% EXP and SP boost from the Ultimate Edition as well. All my weapon forging and cooking and stuff literally only uses one material instead of a whole bunch. Um, all my cooking effect time is doubled. All this freaking stuff. Yeah, this is the thing I just got. Add unknown difficulty level. I just got this earlier this stream. Makes sense why you didn't get it. Why? Because it was probably just added or something like that? Morning, how are you doing, Reggie Bump? Magical flower that unlocks the unknown difficulty level. Its crystallite astral energy form gives it an ebon glow. Magical flower that unlocks the very easy difficulty level. Its crystallized astral energy gives it a white glow. So I guess they uh, freaking added two new difficulty levels. So I guess there's like an even easier difficulty level now and an even harder difficulty level now. So up until this point, we've been playing this game on the hardest difficulty level that you could do so on a first playthrough at least. But now there's unknown... Anyway, what what new DLC stuff is added for? Uh, yeah, it could have maybe it was part of that one gigabyte update that we uh that that we got. Um, <laughs> all reviews are mixed. It's nineteen. Released the October. I thought it was released the October seventh today. It's after midnight now. Apparently, it released yesterday. Well, still today if you count it being like after midnight. <laughs> Let me see the reviews. It's a nice collab, but for 20 minutes of gameplay, sadly, it's not just by the price. Um, just two fights against them. A level 25, one level 99. Hmm, well. That's a, certainly something. Um, but yeah, let's just see here. There's a quest in post-game 2 that increases the EXP by way more that isn't a DLC item. Imagine combine that with a DLC boost. We're already at a 20% boost. You can bring that to like a... Like freaking 120% boost with that one seven dollar thing rebob that doubles it. So you could combine it with like another thing rebob there. So I guess the reason why this is a crossover in here in the first place is because, as Hawks was saying, apparently Bandai Namco are the ones that makes SAO games. Like, I've I've know nothing about SAO games. Like I know about the show and stuff, but I've, I figured it'd be one of those things that's big enough that it probably has video games. I've never seen anything about any of them, but apparently they're made by Bandai Namco, so I guess that's the reason why there's this crossover. Again, whenever there's, like, a DLC pack for something that's, uh, something that we're covering on stream, I'll cover it. Like, I'm not gonna do stuff like, you know, pay freaking $10 for a bunch of in-game gold in a single-player game or anything like that, or these stupid level-up things, I don't think. But... You know, when we're doing a playthrough, uh, <laughs> freaking Guzma, what, what is this to go towards freaking picking stuff up here? What, are you just doing like a wink like, yeah, do it. Like, p pick up the freaking, <laughs> pick up the 40k of gold. There it is right there, the winking kappa. Uh, right after I say I'm not gonna pay $10 to, uh, to do that. Guzma immediately drops $10 in bits. You should get it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, Guzma, if you're dropping 10k bits and uh, 10k bits, a uh, one 1,000 bits, and tell me to do it, then I'll do it. Cause that's literally even more than what this is here. Because 1,000 bits, that's ten dollars US, and this is ten dollars Canadian. Do you actually want me to do it? Is that what you actually want my the freaky thousand bits to go towards, Guzma? Because if so, um. I'll freaking do it if you freaking want me to do that. I'll feel hella weird about doing it, but if that's what you're giving me bits to do, freaking do that. Suggested the SAO stuff. Yeah, for when it comes to SAO stuff, and I appreciate the thousand bits, by the way, Guzma, you freaking crazy mad lad, and all the insane amounts of bits you've given on this channel. Um, because <laughs> you're an absolute mad lad. Um, 
like I was saying, stuff that's just like, oh, here's just boosts. I'm probably not going to worry too much about covering that on the channel because it's just boost. Like, you can see what it does in its description. But things that are actually like DLC packs that come out for a game, when we're doing a playthrough of it on this channel, we usually cover like DLC stuff that comes out. Like, even just to talk about, like, is it worth the price or not for the sake of review purposes and stuff. So, uh, I have a feeling that I'm gonna feel bad about myself paying 22 bucks for a couple costumes and a couple battles, but, uh... Here we go! Here we go! I'm doing it! I'm gonna go back to freaking game captures, just in case it shows sensitive information there. Um, I'm freaking doing it. Purchase for myself. It's happening. My PayPal account. Yep. My PayPal account is where I put all the funds that freaking I get from Twitch and YouTube. So it's basically like my stream account. So this is this is quite literally being paid for with uh, the freaking Twitch and YouTube funds. So it's nice to have that like differentiation where it's like, here's my account that is made from streaming and content creation and pays for the stuff that I do on stream. And it's separate from like my kind of money that I make from like my job job. And I... uh you know, One used to pay for, like, school and stuff. I hate to break it to you, man. So. What you're saying isn't deep at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least I don't have to worry about it, like, digging into those funds. It's a different account and stuff. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's just go ahead and pay for it with my PayPal account. There it is. Thank you for your purchase. An email confirmation has been, has been sent to you. Wow. <laughs> Any digital items in this order now registered to your account on Steam. Text is trying to simply visit your library. I can't believe I just paid freaking after tax $23 for a... Is the confirmation code something I'm probably not supposed to show? Whatever. Um, but yeah, only thing you suggest is getting later on. Maybe one or two of the 100,000 gold purchases because the weapon prices later got way too expensive. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> this is where our taxpayer money goes. Typical. Yeah, freaking people that... Anybody that gives bits or subs during my streams and stuff or watches any of my YouTube for any of my YouTube content and watches ads to pay me ad revenue. This is where it goes. This is where this is outrageous time. The proletariat will prevail. Overthrow that bourgeoisie scum. Yeah, th this is where your <laughs> this is where your acoustic harmonia tax dollars go, quite literally. Um so <laughs> I can't believe I just bought that. But uh so it is free DLC for the difficulty levels. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. Just in case it didn't save with that thing. Does it literally just update here right away? I was gonna click here on like install content. Time to overthrow Guzma. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna turn off display capture. Does it literally just update immediately? Unclaimed DLC items. SEO collaboration pack. Okay. Following items will be available when claimed. 